स्पोर्ट्स से जुड़ी किसी भी छोटी या बड़ी अपडेट के लिए सब्सक्राइब करें स्पोर्ट्स तक और साथ ही किसी भी नोटिफिकेशन को पाने के लिए बेल आइकन को दबाना ना भूलें लॉर्ड्स क्रिकेट ग्राउंड टू एब्सोल्यूट लेजेंड्स विथ यू फॉर दिस स्पेशल प्रोग्राम विद फैनेटिक स्पोर्ट्स विक्रांत विथ मी विक्रांत खान गेट बेटर सुनील गावस्कर क्लाइव लॉयड एट द पेलम्स overlooking the lords cricket ground incredible and the confusion would be whether to talk about this world cup or 1983 75 1975 no, you can speak to for both it doesn't matter to me <laughs> okay sunny bhai <laughs> clive lloyd first question what does clive lloyd mean to you and what does sunil gavaskar mean to clive lloyd well mm. clive's an old friend first and foremost you know um we played against each other in 1971 uh, and but for this man standing at uh, square leg uh, near the umpire and uh, you know jumping up high and taking my catch i would have probably got 100 on debut uh, so but for the fact that he was i i th- i looked around i looked around you know as you do looked around at the at the field before every ball at the start of the over and look around for the field and he was hiding behind the umpire and the, the umpire was i think five well my height i don't know how he was hiding behind the umpire he was hiding behind the umpire i didn't see didn't see him So when that ball came I said well that's that's you know easily I would get a boundary suddenly from nowhere man jumps up takes the catch Gavaskar on his debut out for you know I could have got a 100 so I know him from then I know him from then <laughs> so basically what he's saying is you've not been a good friend oh, I've been a great friend to him yes um, no no the point is that I've, I've always admired Sonny because I it's one thing I, I admire about him is his concentration and I've always told my players If you can concentrate like him, you, you, you'd be a great player, um, because he, he just had this power of concentration. He's, and look, you know what he's done over the years. You know, I don't have to go go over it. But we've been friends for a long while, and um, and thoroughly, you know, admired him. You know, even if even when he was making runs against us, actually, and um, he was a sort of beacon for our younger players to look at and sort of learn. things from um and like i suppose i have great affinity with with india because started my first test match there and i i captained my first test match against india so i have a great affinity with them so you, you know if i might add we have this understanding the third one is ian chapel in australia that when we meet after whatever time it could be 6 months 8 months Clive has to tell us a new one. He can never repeat a joke. He's got so many new ones. <laughs> Now I said to him, "Will you please tell me and then I'll convey to Ian." Uh, uh, then he was about to start then I saw the mic I said, "No, no, not yet." Because you know those jokes are only meant <laughs> not no, necessarily for the TV oh, audience. Okay, okay. So Clive, uh, 75, 79 at this venue. 83 was just a formality for you. Was it? Well, the point is that when we in 1975 we won favorites actually. It was Australia and England. in Pakistan they were at, you know in the ascendancy so we came we had a bunch of youngsters vivitris had just started playing gordon greenwich um fred roy fredricks so it was a young team and you know by and when we won our first game you know it sort of gave us a bit of a lift but the point is the year before when we went to india 1973 it was amazing that all our young players did well every player did well on the tour and the point is and we came over here we had that bit of a you know struck but when you have lillian thompson these guys we had walker and pasco and you know they were much better players than we were so to win that first world cup it was it meant a lot to us you know for monetary reasons not only for you know to be world champions but um we we don't have large stadiums like other countries so we can never have a reciprocity situation with them so when you go as a champion then you can command um more more money for and you know it it is very it's very um difficult for us traveling around the west indies because covered by a lot of water mr gavaskar how how good was this clive lloyd team was it the best in the world i mean we don't have much time on this without this. without a question i mean they just ran ran through every side uh, and and their batsmen were scoring hundreds after hundreds so it was without question the most dominating side that's been in in the history of the game uh, I, i guess you know the australians will argue that their side later on from say the mid 90s uh, onwards for the next 10 years the next decade they were also very good and you know that's an argument that that can go on and on but uh, the fact remains that you know 
every era every 10 years or sometimes even lesser there are there are changes in playing conditions that are a little bit different that in fact in my view make it a little easier for the next generation for for example when before we started playing they you had uncovered pitches by the time my my i came in my third year in international cricket we had started to get covered pitches now batting on on uncovered pitches so when it's raining like this out there and then you go out to bat on a pitch which has become sticky is different but then covered pitches came in so what i'm saying is you know therefore you want to take the the into account their dominance at that particular that lit, that period in fact they dominated for almost 20 years from 1974 to 1995 96 around that time is when australia started to come to the fore so an australia dominated for 10 years because by 2006 other teams were beginning to beat them my last question before vikram finishes this off you've seen a week 10 day of this world cup after 10 days what do you think of this tournament i mean what, which are the couple of teams or three teams that you think will go there <coughs> well it's, it's early days but what i've been doing and what i've been jumping up and down in the in the commentary box is when i've been seeing the west indian fast bowlers ball because once again they've discovered the bouncer and the bouncer is making life very difficult for batsmen for the last 10 years 10 15 years maybe maybe a little bit longer a lot of the west indian fast bowlers have been concentrating more on line and length and hardly ever used a bouncer we saw the bouncer being used very very effectively very cleverly and i think you can therefore see that there is a sharpness to the west indies attack which probably hasn't been there for the last 15 20 years can they go the distance the yeah. west indies oh yes i would think so they they played very well against pakistan yesterday they should have won really it's not about that but if you give away 21 extras in a in a one day game you're looking for trouble because anybody scores off of half of that they'll get to over 30 or 40 that means it's 40 extras that's nearly eight overs extra so the point is that they have to tighten in that area the fielding has been good but i thought their bowling to towards the end um it was it was not a concentrated sort of effort they they want they thought that the short ball was going to you know be a dis- disconcerting to the to the bat to the australian batsmen but they're accustomed to fast bowling and the pitch had flattened down and nobody bowled a line we should have tried to contain them the most they should have made it 250 but okay. they've got uh, good exciting youngsters also in your batting yes i i like um in our side i think we have some good good players you have hetmeyer you have puran you have hope you know there there are a couple of good good cricketers i think the australians got a guy called this we could keep a guy called kerry i think he's a, he could be he'll, he'll be a handful in this um, in this competition okay on that note mr gavaskar clive lloyd vikrant will do many such many such so keep watching the world cup coverage because the tournament has just about begun